What's up? Oh, going a little ahead of myself here. What's up, people? Uh, today we're going to be learning about variables and data typing, both very important and the basic building blocks of all of ActionScript, really. So pay attention and let's get started. So what is a variable? Think of a variable like this picture here. It's a box. Yeah, well, it's not a square, it's a box. I don't really want to draw a box, but just think of this as a 2D box. It holds something in it. And just like a box, you can label it so you know exactly what is in it. We'll say this is box of pickles. So this so just by guessing I would assume there's a box of pickles in here. So that's a variable. Now let's put that into coding terms. So you would say actually in action script two one sec, let me put this in the right one. In action script two you're just able to like declare it like declare a name so you could say box of pickles now we'll just call it pickles equals six you're not allowed to do this anymore you have to declare it as a variable so var pickles equals six and let's run it let's see what it does um doesn't do anything. Why is that? Because we didn't tell it to do anything. All we did was assign the name pickles to the value of six. We have to tell it, like if you want to output how many pickles there are, you'll say trace pickles. So the, the name pickles holds the value of six, and so this is going to trace that value or output it and it did and we could add a little plus here and say pickles in the box and then it'll, it'll place this string and then it'll add to that it'll add to that string the amount of pickles and it just did that. Pretty cool. Anyways, uh, another neat trick is it can do multiplication, division, modulus, anything you think it can do, it can probably do. So we could say um, bigger pickle box equals pickles plus 12. It's a lot of Friggin' pickles. Bigger pickle box. And if you can do basic math, which I hope you can do, this should equal 18. And it does. So, we can do basic math. Another variable you might want to know about is strings. Strings are just literally basic definition it's a string of characters and you should know what a character is it's a single letter so var um, google search box no that's too long we'll just say google and this is what you type into google say like you wanna type in what is the speed of a cheetah cheetah and then we could trace that Google we're tracing Google that's impossible anyways and it'll output what is the speed of a cheetah so you can see this is the label I was talking about like down in this picture here and the trace statement just outputs what's in the box and in this case it's just a string. Now 
we we need to be a little wary of what we're doing here. Because what would happen? Let's let's see here. We'll have two numbers. Um, number we'll just say apples equals eight. No, eighty nine. Var oranges equals six. Actually, no, we'll just make it none. Except they're going to be in quotes, so technically they're strings. What is going to happen here? Are we going to get a trace statement of, um, let's see here. I can do basic math, that would be 15. Or are we going to get 96? We're going to get 96 because it's two strings. I mean, adding two strings is, uh, makes sense. So we really have to start data typing as well, so that way we don't make common mistakes that are nearly impossible to find later on. So data typing just means you declare what you want to be in the box, in the imaginary computer box. So you only want well, in this case, you only want pickles, but in this case, you only want a number. And uh, you need a colon to declare the data type, and you just type number. And it'll pop up, so you know you're doing it right. You could just press enter at this point, and it'll com auto complete it. You gotta do this with all of your, all of your code. This is a string, as I said before. This, we want to be a number. We also want this to be a number. But they're not numbers. So what is going to happen is it's going to give us a pretty clear error saying, what the hell are you doing? You're using a string when you want a number. And it gives us an error. Pretty sure that means what the hell are you doing? Blah 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 blah. We're doing it wrong, in other words. So let's do it right. Oops. And now we're doing it right. Now it's saying, all right, you did it correctly. I won't bitch at you anymore. So yeah. That's data typing and variables. Uh, another data type you might want to know, just as a simple data type, is uh, a Boolean. So, let's see here. What do we want the name? Something creative. Is this food cooked? And we'll make that equal to. Oh, wait. We got to declare the data type. A boolean. Now a boolean is either a true or a false statement. Well, I don't want it to be not cooked, so we want it to be true. And as you can see, we'll output it. Trace is this look is this food cooked? And it's true. This food is cooked. Oops. And there we go. That is a good thing. I like cooked food. So, yeah. Didn't come up with an error. Which means it's either true or false. And that comes in later with like if statements. But that is all for now. And I hope you kept up with me. If you didn't, just message me or email me. And we can probably work it out. Because these aren't that complicated. Hopefully. And I will see you in the next tutorial.